Delicious is the word that comes to mind for me with this perfume. If you love smelling edible, if you want to smell like something that someone would eat and enjoy, I would highly recommend this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it is Dim Ma, Dim Sko, Dim Dim, Dims. <laughs> Whichever one of these you decide to call me, I'm gonna answer you, baby, okay? So today's video is an updated perfume collection video. I did one last year because I thought that it would be a good video to do. Yeah, I had gotten some requests, but not a lot. Imagine my shock when that video actually popped off and started doing well. I did not expect you guys to love it as much as you did. So this is going to be an updated perfume collection video. I love smelling good, guys. Guys, smelling good is good. It's something that I take seriously. I'm telling you guys. And I've also been in situations where I've seen people just adjust their tone, adjust their everything. People who are disrespectful by nature. They come close, you come close, they realize that they cannot talk to you anyhow. And that's the that's the most important thing. Them realizing that they cannot talk to you anyhow. If they just go around insulting people, they cannot insult you. Your perfume is already telling them that. It's a very good way to make a statement and also make people remember you smelling good. Mwah. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I am loving right now. Let go. So the first two perfumes that I have here are by a brand called Begal by Oma, a Nigerian brand. And these are the two most affordable perfumes in this stash. They look like this. So one is Passion. This one, this orangey one here is Passion. And then this clear gold yellow one is Seduction. Guys, these perfumes sell for 15,000 Naira a bottle. I already shared it on Instagram and even did a giveaway. Me sharing them again in this video is not because anyone has asked me to. I really love them. And I think that they are perfect for anyone who's on a budget they actually like the scent you get with these they actually linger they don't fade in one hour or two hours or anything ridiculous i know that a good number of you who follow me you guys are students and you don't have as much money to burn like let's say young female professionals who can actually afford to spend more on perfume so if you're looking for good perfumes to actually invest in i would highly recommend these and they don't feel cheap at all they don't look cheap they don't feel cheap the bottles are heavy they don't look plasticky let me just show you guys so this is seduction it fell you guys can see that it has a very big crack here and the only reason why this did not crack open and spill is because this bottle is strong it has weight it does not feel cheap it is not cheap so even with this crack like there's nothing spilling the perfume is all in here they smell really good so really quickly let me explain so this is actually my current favorite right now like i tend to be like that with perfumes i think that on instagram i kind of told you guys that i really loved passion more but right now i really love seduction so seduction when you use this the two scents that hit you immediately are vanilla and sandalwood i have used some perfumes that are very heavy on vanilla and they almost like smell sickly or a bit cloying no the sandalwood balances the vanilla out so well it smells very mature let me not say mature it smells grown it smells like you have your shit together it smells sophisticated i would say as well i really love the way that this one smells the second one is passion and passion is on the sweeter side they're both floral perfumes but this is more of a sweet floral with this i think you get some rose there's a little bit of rose hold on let me confirm yeah i can smell rose here and i can also smell jasmine to be honest, I just love these equally. I wouldn't even say that I love any like more than the other. I think that initially I used to say that I love this more, but right now I actually love both of them because I can easily imagine situations where I would just pick one over the other. They smell really good. I'm telling you guys, they both smell really, really good good okay the next perfume that i have here is ysl libre i also talked about this heavily on instagram at a point i did work with ysl libre so they sent me this because they were launching this in nigeria sometime last year but see the bottle that they sent me just to explain to you guys how much i love this so this is the one i got as pr and the minute i ran out of this i went not the minute share I got this recently, but then I, I just made a mental note to report Chase. So I got a new bottle two weeks ago. These are both 50 ml bottles, I believe. Guys, 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 guys. 
The one word that I would use to describe YSL Libre to anyone, especially if like just the easiest word that I would use is sexy. YSL Libre to me is a very sexy perfume. It is a floral perfume, but then I think that what really makes it stand out to me especially is the fact that it's floral and then it's powdery. I love floral perfumes. I said this in the previous video, but I love floral perfumes. I prefer them to fruity scents or fruity perfumes. I also prefer them to oud or oriental perfumes, I would say. I love the way that they tend to settle into the skin. This, however, when it settles, you get the powdery bit just as much as you get the floral one. Like in a way that balances so well, bro, like this perfume, I love it, okay? So with this, it is like sexy, strong, no nonsense, I would say. You get YSL Libre, I just love it. I also love the bottle, like hands down, this is one of the most beautiful like perfume bottles I think that I have ever owned. The way the YSL wraps around this in gold, and this is not something that wears off easily. I'm telling you guys from experience because I have a bottle that I have traveled with and I have used up it does not fade. I just love how expensive it looks. The reason why I gravitate towards floral scents more than I do fruity scents is because some fruity scents give me a headache. Like, there are some fruity perfumes that I know that if I smell them for too long, or if I'm close to someone who is wearing them for too long, I just develop a headache. Like, my head will start pounding. So I don't like it when perfumes are too fruity. However, one thing with this is that this is a bit fruity. It is mostly floral and powdery. Those are the main two things that I get when I smell this perfume. But then again, it's a little a bit fruity so the thing is the fruity notes that you get with this are they're not top notes so by the time you're almost done smelling the fruity bits hit you but then the way they've done this the way the notes come together so well like me I don't even like fruity scents but I don't mind the fact that this smells a bit fruity so this 50 ml bottle I got it for about 40 something K I would say so this is not very cheap but it's a very very good perfume and one that I would highly recommend to anyone who likes collecting perfumes or who just loves perfumes period okay if you love smelling sexy grown sophisticated as well like this <laughs> I'm going on and on about this, but this is one of those perfumes that I would choose for night out. So when I'm going out at night for a party or I'm going out to a place where there's some sort of gathering, but especially in the evenings and I'm wearing like a nice slinky number. For situations like that, YSL Libre is most definitely going to be top three for me. Okay. The next perfume that I have here is the most expensive in my stash. I got this as a present and to be honest, I didn't even know how expensive it was. All I know is that I used it and I loved it immediately. And this is Zezhov's. Guys, okay, so I took this perfume to Accra with me. If you've not seen my Accra vlog, please, I'm going to have it linked in the description box. I took this perfume to Ghana with me and the whole situation that I had with my suitcases towards the end, this bit here, there is a, I don't even know what it is, but then there's a nice marble-like thing that they have here. It broke. It broke because of how roughly they handled my suitcases. I'm going to insert a picture of this perfume somewhere on the screen so that you'll see what the bottle actually looks like without any type of damage. This perfume is is Zezhov's 1717 Dama Rose. Guys, the one word that comes to mind every time that I think about it is bougie. This perfume will have you smelling ridiculously expensive. I got this as a birthday present last year. I still just cannot believe how good this perfume is. I smell bougie, expensive, every time that I have this on. This perfume, depending on where you get it from, can go for as high as 350 pounds per bottle. It's the most expensive of all the perfumes that I have here, but just like FYI, that's the price range. So from about 300 to 350 pounds, you would have to pay for this. It is so good. This is also my first Zezhov perfume. Oh, guys. It is floral and it is woody. I am used to floral fragrances floral scents but this woody thing like the woody notes that you get with this is what just makes it perfection to me you know it kind of brings it down like not too down it doesn't drag it down but it brings it down to like see if uh, how do i like see i love this perfume so much that i it's one of those things that if i saw someone wearing it i'll definitely ask them what they are wearing if i smell this anywhere i'll definitely give it a second smell the woody notes bring some mystery to this and just takes it from your regular regular floral perfume to something that is just very mysterious grown bougie expensive three words i think about 
every time I smell this, these three words come to mind. So Zajor 1717 Damaros, highly recommend. I'm telling you guys, highly recommend. So I have three K Ali perfumes here. Three K Ali perfumes, okay? I've used this one quite a bit. And actually all of them I've used quite a bit. I think I have used this one more than I have used any other one. But because the bottle is not clear, you guys can't really see. I'm going to explain them to you guys one by one. So I'm going to start with the newest one for me. And this is K Ali's YouTube. Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. If you're not familiar with K. Ali fragrances, just know that these perfumes were created by one of the owners of Huda Beauty. I think that she owns this in collaboration with her sister. Guys, I have not yet used any K. Ali perfume that I do not like or I have not smelled any K. Ali perfume at this point that I do not like. And her perfumes are not ridiculously expensive. So everything that I have here, these bottles go for about, depending on which one it is, from about $100 to about $150. I would say depending I don't even think they go all the way to 150 but yeah let's just say range 100 to 150 this perfume the minute I smelled it took me back to secondary school and in a good way it reminded me of a perfume that I used to use when I was much younger in secondary school but then this is the rich auntie version of it if you love vanilla perfumes if you love smelling edible if you want to smell like something that someone would eat and enjoy I would highly recommend this delicious is the word that comes to mind for me with this perfume like if you went to hroc like i just like remembered myself immediately martin's extension like applying something on my skin going to school preparing for classes in the morning this is just a better version because those perfumes wouldn't last we'll buy them from the market you smell really really delicious if you love vanilla perfumes and you're not sure where to go from whichever one you're currently loving consider this one with this perfume just like smelling at length the thing Things that just stand out immediately the vanilla hits you right in the face okay um, but then it's also floral and that floral brings in a little bit of balance or much needed balance and then there's also coconut as well so coconut is kind of what you smell like like just as you're you're withdrawing from the scent you can smell the coconut it smells so so good I'm telling you guys smells amazing the second K. Ali perfume that I have here is the first one I ever own and this is the Javu white flower okay smells really expensive and smells a bit oriental to me this is one of those perfumes that I, like i think once you smell it you think of asia immediately you think of kind of the middle east i would say similar to how you feel whenever you smell wood fragrances but this one is not as intense it is floral it is woody it is powdery i think that that powdery aspect or the powdery notes that you get with this is what makes me actually love it like as much as i do because it's one of the things you get with ysl libre and i think that that's the reason why i love this as much as i do i love it okay my favorite favorite kali perfume at the moment is this one this is the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. I love this so freaking much that I'm not quite sure that I can put into words how much I love this perfume, but I'm going to try. So this perfume is floral. Like I said, everything I'm showing you guys today is floral. The musk is there but then it is spicy it is warm spicy and i have two spicy perfumes here and i know that spicy is not <laughs> it's not a very like common way to describe perfumes to some of you especially if you're new to perfumes but some perfumes actually smell spicy if you cook and you're familiar with using just like spices different spices not just pepper and salt you will know sometimes when you're smelling something that smells a bit like it belongs in the kitchen where there is heat right but then it's not a bad smell this is spicy so that white pepper thing okay white pepper pink diamond very very accurate it smells spicy and i love it warm spicy i would say and i love this perfume for that it smells so good it is floral but then the floral is not like what makes this perfume it's all the other things that i've just described and i love the bottle i love the hot bright pink of it i just love it the last perfume that i have to show you guys is this one i'm just holding it to my chest because i love this so much i'm going to show you guys in a second i got this for myself as a birthday present i actually did not want to get this perfume i went into the store trying to get baccarat rouge i think but i ended up leaving with this one 
I just love this perfume so much, okay? This is the Armani Privé Rouge Malachite perfume. First of all, what drew me to this perfume was the bottle. The display where they had this, like I was like, this looks so gorgeous, what is this? Or they were like, oh, this is Armani Privé and they started showing me all of them but then this bottle, I kept staring at it. I was like, I want to smell it. And then the minute this thing hit my nose, I wasn't even sure what I was smelling. You know the way I was explaining how you'd smell the coconut with the Utopia Vanilla Cocoa and then how with the YSA Libre it's a bit fruity but then you kind of smell the fruity notes like almost as you're pulling away from the fragrance or the scent or perfume it's the same thing with this so the spicy is the notes like you get the spicy notes as you're withdrawing I would say guys this smells so exotic it's just so exciting there's a little a lot of mystery with this for me i would say because i know that if i came close to someone or i just smelled this in the store like i wouldn't know what it was immediately but then i'll be very excited and very interested and just try to smell again guys this is so good this is so freaking good i'm telling you guys this is so good Ugh. Floral top notes you get with this. Base notes a bit spicy. Hmm? But then one thing I like about this is that it's spicy, but then the spicy is not what lingers. The floral notes actually linger. You know, like when a perfume settles into the skin, you come back to it and you keep smelling it. The floral notes just hit you. That floral note hitting you, you know, it doesn't stop as the perfume settles in. But then the spicy notes, they are there and they just keep you excited i'm telling you guys i don't know how to explain this perfume it's one of those perfumes that i knew nothing about like before i got it actually that's one common thing i have with a lot of the perfumes i have here like i didn't do proper research like i would with certain fragrances before committing i actually had done my research on another perfume gone to buy that fell in love with this one I'm just telling you guys, okay? This is so good. Armani Privé Malachite Rouge, so good. So, so good. Mm -hmm. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys loved it. I just love, feel like the whole room smells so good tell me what perfume you're currently loving in the comment section whatever you're loving right now whatever you're enjoying please let me know and i am especially open to floral perfumes so if you have any floral perfume that you think is going to be a banger for me let me know as well in the comment section give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with your friends or your fellow perfume lovers. Subscribe to me if you are not yet subscribed. I'll see you guys in my next one.